Two things. The first one is the technology. It was not ready before. We have to wait Avatar to be able to make it. And so thanks to Cameron, who uh, give us all these tools as a legacy, so we can technically now do it. Because Valerian and Laurelin, it's two space agents and 1,000 aliens. So it's it's not so easy. You cannot shoot just like this in in a, in, in a kitchen. So, <laughs> and the second point is, uh, I was not ready. I was. Uh, you, you need you need a serious deep experience of this kind of size of film to be able to do it. And uh, and four years ago, I, I I said to myself, okay, let's try. I need Lucy before because Lucy. Uh, there's 600 uh, special effect in it. There's I work with ILM and the, it teaches me a lot. In fact, to do Lucy and then 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 I can do Valerian after. Um, and is it true that parts of the Fifth Element were inspired by Valerian? The yellow cab in the Fifth Element are are designed by Mezier, and Mezier is the, the the father of Valerian. So yeah, you can recognize his style, you know, but. Um, no, it was pretty uh, original at the time. Um, and Nikita, Leon, Lucy, now Laureline, um, what appeals to you about these kick-ass leading ladies? Do you have fierce females in your life? No, I think, you know, the, the women, they, they look fragile most of the time, and I'm always amazed by their, by their strength. They, they're so strong when they want to, and, and it's impressive. And the man is almost like the opposite. They look strong, and they're so fragile in a way. So I think I'm, oh, I'm always interested by the, by the opposite, by the contrast, you know, the strengths of, of women and the weakness of the man. If you take uh, Achilles, Achilles without his heel uh, is of no interest. Um, and I've heard you say that CGI technology now means that the only limit is your imagination. So I was um, wondering what helps you decide what might be possible in the future of 2740 and beyond? I think it's, um, you always have to, to grab the reality first. That's why the film started in 1975, by footages of Apollo and Soyuz, the American and the Russian. They meet in space, they shake hands. They are real images, we have seen that. Actually, at the time, the American and, and the Russian shake hands <laughs> and smile to each other, which is not the case anymore. It's too bad. But uh, you start from some from something real, and then you know slowly, little bit by little bit, like okay, they meet the Chinas now. That will be in two years, and then they meet others, and then the first alien comes and say, "Oh, can I join the space station?" And then yeah, that's credible. One day probably, and then you see two and three. I think it's the, the best way is to to make it real. It's to have some somewhere somehow a real element, and then you take the fake and the real, and then you mix, and then everything looks real after that. It's magic. I can imagine it must be difficult to find actors to fit the shoes of these characters that you've had in your head for so many years, um, and you wanted Dane within minutes of meeting him. What particular characteristics of his made him your Valerian? You just recognize it. You, you know, if tomorrow we make a film about you and we're looking for an actress to play you, you will recognize her right away. You will, you will see, oh, this girl think like me at the time. She looks like me, you know, at the time. And, and it will be easy for you to cast. It's the same for me. I know Valerian since 40 years. And Laureline the same. And I was in love with Laureline. So... You know, as soon as I met Kara, I can see and tell right away that she, at least physically, the, the timbre of the voice and everything, she, she was Laureline for sure. We just have to be sure that she can play because at the time she didn't shoot anything. And so I tested her a lot and I tortured her a lot. And then at the end I chose her because she was like, uh, she's a real actress, Kara, very talented actress. What were those um, audition processes that you put her through? Can you just tell me a bit about them and what you made her do? I can't tell you that because it's my little secret because I don't want the future actresses, you know, listening to me and say, hmm, I got the trick. But um, no, one, one of, a, a classical one, for example, which is not too difficult, but uh, 
you ask for interpretation of animals. So as long as you do the dog and the cat, it's, it's kind of easy. When you arrive to the snake or the scorpion or, you know, there's some animal, it becomes a little <laughs> more tricky to do. But it's just to so, to, to, for, for someone to show the, her ability to use her, their body to express something. And that's, that's one test, for example. And Rihanna's classically trained glam pod it was one of my favourite characters. Uh, what made you think of Rihanna, who is obviously an incredibly successful artist, but maybe not so much an actress in this genre? I think it's it's the same. When when I met her, I'm, it's my job for so many years. If I if I met an actress, I can I can see pretty easily and pretty fast if I can do something with it or not. If it's first, does she has something in it, an emotion, uh, you know, a strange something. In case of Rihanna, she has tones. And then the second question is, is she will let me take it? Because some, some actors are pretending they want to give you, but they're scared and they, they protect themselves. They don't want to be miserable after. And, and Rihanna, make it clear since the beginning. She said, you know, you here's the key. I'll let you do whatever. I'm a beginner. Go, go for it. If you have something to take me, take it. Don't ask me to help you, but take it. So she really let, let me do my job, in fact, you know, and she let herself go. She trust me a lot and thanks to her for that. It's always very, uh, feel proud to have Someone like her, like Rihanna, trusting you at this uh, point. But uh, yeah, because she has a couple of scenes very emotional. And, uh, and, and then she proved also that she can play for sure. An incredible ensemble supporting cast, John Goodman, Ethan Hawke, Clive Owen. Uh, tell us about each of them and what delighted you about their contributions. Uh, John Goodman is just the voice because he's playing Eigen Cyrus. He's probably the only alien who is a bad one because all the rest are pretty nice. Uh, he's a big guy, so we I work with him just with the voice, and I've never seen an actor laughing so much with what we show him on, on, on the screen, because the, the character was already there, and he has so much fun of doing it. And Ethan Oakes is a great guy, a friend of mine, and, and I just asked him, I said, oh, do you want to have fun, you know, for a few days? And he said yes without reading the thing. And then after I say, oh, you, you're the pimp of uh, Rihanna. <laughs> and he said, great, wonderful. So we, we work more uh, on the moment with him. You know, he comes a few days sooner. We talk about the characters and, and I let him very free to interpret the way he wants. But the reference was the, the photographer in Apocalypse Now, you know, played by Dennis Hopper. Clive is an amazing actor. I've seen him uh, on his play in New York and always wants to work with him. So uh, I gave him the script and, and he, he was kind enough to accept. And, uh, and he was the real actor on the set. He, you know, he's a little older than Dane and Kara and he's the villain and he represents the thing. And it, it, it was delightful to, to shoot with him. And just quickly, alongside Alex, uh, um, Alexandre Desplat's beautiful score, can you tell us about your music choices for the film and obviously uh, the Pharrell Williams track that we have from, from Cara? Uh, for Cara and, and, and Pharrell, Cara called me and said, oh, can I try a song at the end for the credits? And I said, yeah, sure. And she sent me this song that I love right away. I, love, I still have it in my head all the time. And I try to see if it fit you know, with the, with the film, and it fit very well. So I called back to say, okay, I keep it. And, and she was very uh, surprised. She didn't, she didn't f think that I will keep it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!